Oh, good day, scrappers. Today I wanted to scrap out some of these quantum tape drives. Uh, these uh, look like the internal types that go into slide into a into a rack or something like that. So yeah, they're basically just a a tape drive, and um, these are all busted up and stuff. And uh, so I thought uh, today's a good day as any just to get rid of them before I go on holidays. Scrap them all out. I've already done one a few days ago and yeah I just wanted to show you the actual board on these tape drives they're really really nice circuit board on there for uh, gold recovery and stuff so um, all right so what I'll probably do is well I've got two models here this is the uh, 4000 series and these beige ones are the 7000 series so there's two different ones the boards do vary a little bit so we'll I'll want to have a look at uh, both of them but first I'll just remove the actual board and or the actual tape drive out of this uh, mount and also get the power board out and then uh, so I can scrap the rest and we just got the drives to play with so yeah um, I thought it's it's an interesting little thing anyway mostly it's all about uh, the circuit board okay so it's pretty much just a circuit board underneath this plate here not a great deal to them um, we do have some aluminium and stuff to uh, scrap out if I want to go that far So just an average power supply board. Got some wires and stuff I'll clean up. And yeah. So yeah, as I said, there's not a great deal to them. Uh, you know, we've got cast aluminium and, and stuff. Depending on how far you want to go into them, get a little motors out or something, but... Uh, um, yeah, it's not a great deal. Um, it's mostly this board that's most exciting, and I really like them just simply because of this board. So let me just uh, take out all the drives out of these caddies. Okay, got them out of the caddies now. Sent them to scrap metal and the power boards, put them away. So now we've just got the tape drives themselves, and let's uh, start off with the 4000 series and we'll do a 7000 series as well so I'll just move them out the way a bit and we'll get onto one of them oh actually so I only really want to get to it from underneath so I'll just move up a bit closer all right let's uh, just get this base plate out okay it looks like nice pieces of uh, extruded aluminium bit of an extra bonus okay here's our board And spin around, disconnect the cables. Okay. So, as you can see, it's a beautifully populated board. 
um, just so many flat packs and ICs. There's no uh, uh, BGAs on it, but uh, you know, I'd imagine that these are all being nice, good quality, and we'll probably get some good gold recovery out of them. There's also quite a lot of tantalum capacitors running around. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned with boards like this, it's it's not the kind of board that's worth selling to a, a board buyer because uh, Yeah, if you're into gold recovery, then this is the kind of thing you want to completely depopulate even the pins here are Pretty nice gold plated pins, you know um, Not bad, you know Pretty much all around you've got gold pins um, So there's really not much junk that you can uh, you need to leave behind once you uh, depopulate the board and on the other side it's just a whole lot of little uh, MLCCs but also there's resistors um, and little inductors so sort of thing if you start trying to get to them you're going to mix up a lot of stuff but you can see these tiny little MLCC uh, sorry little IC chips you know you can also get them there's nothing wrong with small ones you know um, there's no real difference in size of an IC chip, whether it's a giant IC chip or, or a tiny one. You know, some have got gold, some don't. So you just take them all. And in this case, because we're going to depopulate the whole board, um, yeah, it's a beautiful board. You know, um, just so much IC chips, all different kinds, so much going on there. It's very much a, a, a logic board. You know, and because it's so big, it's like two or three times as good as a old school hard drive board. So that's it. And yeah, under in here, you've got you know some motors. You've got a bit of copper and that in there. Uh, I'll take off these two plates and I'll show you the nice chunk of copper. These two boards also will go as mid-grade boards. I'll just show you on um, one of these drives the boards because. Uh, on both the 4000 series and the 7000, it's pretty much the same once once we've taken off the main board. And these boards are kind of attached by a little bit of copper wire. So it's a little bit harder to get the copper out. It's not like uh, anything similar. It's usually a little bit easier, but uh, definitely... You know, if you've got time, it's it's worth picking out this copper out of here and getting these extra two boards. They're just uh, connected by a little bit of copper wire on each side. And you'll see why. Okay, so there you go. It's just a basic mid-grade board. But, you know, we can still send this off to uh, you know, sell that as a mid-grade board, just like that. Nothing worth depopulating here. And there you go. It's uh, you got all these spools of copper in there. It's a little bit hard to pick out. Um, you know, but if you've got the time to pop out all these little bits and get that nice copper out of there, it might be worth it for you. Same under here. Same deal. So that is a mid-grade board. And there you go. And so you do have all this is uh, cast aluminium. And uh, it might even be a, a, a mixture of aluminium and magnesium. Uh, got a motor under there. And yeah, it's just up to you if you want to take the time to take out all these little spools of copper. But as far as uh, circuit boards, that's pretty much it. There's uh, nothing else to it. It's all mostly tape mechanisms, motors. So that was the 4000 series. And that's our beautiful board. So I might as well just do one of the 7000 series. And we'll see how that comes up.
take out there. Nice pieces of aluminium. And <laughs> there's probably not going to be a great deal of variation, but might be a little bit there. I, don't, I can't imagine it being that much different. But yeah, already uh, the 7000 series, it's got a bit more on the back. And I can actually see there's um, yeah, some more memory chips here. Whereas this one didn't really have any memory chips. So, well, it's, it's a good start. It looks like it could be a, an even better board. Shame I only have a couple of the 7000 series. Most of them are all the 4000s. But, you know, I can't complain. You get them, you get them. Okay. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Um, very, very similar. Is there any such thing? Yeah, it's, it's quite a similar board. It just, um, yeah, just the chips are a little bit different, but uh, very nicely populated once again. And uh, I can just get that thing off. Take one of the. It's like a kind of like a ceramicy kind of heat sink. It's just a well, it's kind of plastic, but it yeah, it's just a very brittle plastic. So the chips are, are actually bigger on this one, a little bit bigger, and as I mentioned, the yeah, so they're, they're slightly bigger than the, on the 4000 series. The board's exactly the same other than that, but uh, yeah, it just looks like there's, uh, and it, it is a slightly heavier as well, and obviously because it's got more more heavier chips and on the back it's yeah a bit more so yeah really nice and you know just a, a beautiful board for complete depopulation if you're into gold recovery if you're not into gold recovery uh you know try and see if you can get a better value for this like a close to a telecom kind of grade or at least a, a hard drive logic grade um, throw it into something like that because uh, you know it's way too good for a peripheral board um, yeah but for us gold recovery guys this is uh, this is beautiful and uh, the more boards we can get of that um, it just really adds to our um, precious metal stockpile um, all these flat packs ICs uh, awesome. No BGAs, but um, pretty much everything else, and uh, quite a lot of tantalums. And the same deal here. Just got the two regular boards, and um, that copper underneath. If you want to get right into them, just depends. Um, sometimes you might be able to get rid of this, take these two boards off, and sell the rest as a copper bearing motor or something like that because it's pretty much all motors and copper and aluminium. So, you know, the scrapyard's going to still get good value out of that. Um, yeah, but there you go. So that was the quantum uh, tape drives and um, look out for them. They're awesome. If you're into gold recovery, you can't get, you know, doesn't get much better than that in regular um, IT equipment and um, these drives once they're worn out broken down and that they, they don't really hold much value and like I said once you get your sexy board out of them you've still got a, a decent piece of uh, copper aluminium bearing material here and a couple of extra boards no that, that's pretty good it was pretty fun and um, I'm really happy with the outcome out of these boards and uh, yeah I look forward to scrapping the rest of these out now and get rid of them and put these boards to my gold recovery stockpile. Alright guys, well, keep scrapping, have fun.
and I'll catch you next time soon.